the voters will be streaming to the polling stations and centers with very many expectations, so very high expectations this morning. One, Independent Elections and Boundaries Commission, the IBC, the body that's mandated to conduct the election, will carry out the election in a manner that is in accordance with the law, impartial and transparent. Secondly, voters highly expect that the kits that are going to be used for identification of voters, the biometric identification of voters, will not fail. Additionally, that regardless of who is it that wins various seats, but especially at the presidential level, that there will be no cases of instigated violence, it is impressive and encouraging that the two leading presidential contenders, Honorable Raila Odinga, former Prime Minister, and the sitting Deputy President, uh, William Ruto, have indicated that none of them is going to resort to, to any violence or incitement, that in case one is aggrieved that they will go to the Supreme Court, which has got the original jurisdiction in determining a presidential petition for disputes arising from the presidential election results. I spoke with a few Kenyans who were yes. displeased that the two leading presidential candidates have yet to commit to accepting the outcome of Tuesday's election. And they believe that their lack of commitment or promise to accept the outcome could in itself trigger their supporters to engage in acts of violence after the elections. What is your take? Raila Odinga has indicated in the past, not too distant past, that he will accept the outcome of the result. William Ruto has indicated that he will accept the outcome of the result, though on his part he's also indicated that he is sure of winning. Now, looking at and examining and analyzing the sentiments of these two competing and front, you know, front runners, one gets the idea that each of them is keen on winning, factually speaking, they go to the election to win. But in the event that one of them loses, as either one of them has to lose, then it is possible that they have to find a mechanism of quelling the despair or desperation, anxiety, or the infuriation of their supporters. It depends on them. Are these political parties and their candidates pleased or confident in how the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission will organize this election or administer this election on Tuesday? Well, so far, in the run-up to this election, up to the end of the campaign, the various political parties, the various candidates, or those that are running uh, as independents, have made indication and statements and pronouncements that they are confident with the manner in which the Independent Elections and Boundaries Commission is preparing and has prepared for this election. Additionally, earlier when the IEBC was meeting with the presidential candidates and their agents, it invited them to even observe how the presidential ballot papers and other ballot papers are being printed. The agents and the representatives of the presidential candidates went and observed how the printing was being done. The election materials have been received and dispatched to all the election centers in the country, at the county levels and the constituency levels. And so far, any issues that has been of concern, for example, the issue of uh, failure to print the extra from 34B for the presidential results that were raised and for this election, they had a meeting with the IBC, and the uh, IBC pronounced itself on that matter. So, so far, we have not seen or had any furore being raised by any candidate or presidential candidate or any political party so far.